Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with MGRmusic.com and today we're going to be taking a look at some Metallica style tones using the Black Star Silverline Deluxe. All the tones you're going to hear today are coming directly from the amplifier so that's all the drive tones and all the effects that you're going to hear as well. I'm using my Jackson Adrian Smith signature guitar plugged straight into the amplifier which is mic'd up with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser microphone. All of the patches for the tones that we're going to talk about in this video are available on the Black Blackstar Insider website, but there's also some links down below in the description so you guys can download these patches and put them into your own Silverline amplifiers. The only thing that is not included in the patches is the resonance and presence settings. This is because these are global settings on the Silverline amps. They're not part of the presets. So when you import these patches into your own Silverline amp, you can tweak the resonance and presence controls to suit your own taste. I've got the resonance just below halfway and the presence is up at full just for a little bit more attack. These settings remain the same for all the tones we talk about in this video. First tone we're going to talk about is an early 1980s Metallica style tone based off the album Kill Em All. This is great for those aggressive early thrash metal riffs. Here's how the tone sounds. <laughs> This tone is actually a little bit more mid-humped than the typical Metallica tone. In the early days, they were using very high-gain British-style amplifiers. So I'm using the OD1 voice here with a KT88 response. The amps Metallica actually used to record the album had EL34s in them. But just to get a little bit more attack out, I chose the KT88 setting because the higher headroom really lent itself well to using this particular guitar. Metallica have always used active pickups which give the front end of the amp a little bit of a kick. So if you don't have active pickups, you can boost the top end just to kind of simulate that early breakup that an active pickup would give you. I've actually got the gain pretty low for this. It's on three and the channel volume is up at 10. Got the bass set to three and a half, the mid is on 10 and the treble is also on 10. People often think of Metallica as having a very, very scooped tone, but those early records did have quite a bit of mid punch in them. I've shaped the EQ a little further with the ISF, which I've actually got set to three. So it does lean a little more on the American side. So we've got that British preamp EQ with lots of mids, but we've pushed it slightly American by bringing the ISF back. There's no reverb on this, it's completely dry, but I do have a linear delay just with the slightest bit of slap back, just to thicken the guitar sound. <laughs> This tone was inspired by the tone off the track Sanitarium, but it can be used for any other Metallica clean tone. This is using the clean, bright voice of the amplifier with the 6L6 response. So for this, I've got the channel gain set to 6.5. This doesn't really matter too much on the clean channels. If you push it all the way up, you will get a little early clipping, but at this level, it's fine. And the channel volume is at 10. This tone is a little bit more scooped. So I've got the bass up at 8.3. The mid is down to 3.3, where we get that slightly hollow mid range. And the treble is all the way up at 10. For this, the ISF is also up at about nine and a half. There's also quite a lot of effects used on this. So I've got the chorus effect on there, the linear delay for a bit of ambient space, and also a plate reverb. Like I said, this is great, not just for playing Metallica songs from the mid eighties, but any other clean Metallica if you want to play will work pretty well with this tone. The 
third tone we're going to look at is a mid 80s inspired heavy tone similar to that of the Master of Puppets album. <laughs> So I've gone for the super crunch voice for this one with the 6L6 response. The gain is set to 7.5 and the channel volume is up at 10. The super crunch is great for this because even though it's a very heavy tone, there's still a lot of clarity in there. Bass is set to eight, the middle set to three, so that's scooped out quite a bit there. The treble is set to nine and a half and the ISF is set to nine. There's also a room reverb on this just for a bit of space. This tone was very much inspired by the Master of Puppets album, but anything from that era of the band's catalog will work pretty great with this tone. <laughs> Fourth and final tone we're going to look at in this video is inspired by the early 1990s Black Album era tone, which is a much fatter, more saturated Metallica tone. It sounds like this. <laughs> For this tone we're using the OD1 voice with the 6L6 response, the gain is set to 5.5 and, and the channel volume is once again set to 10. The EQ for this tone has a very very drastic mid scoop, we've got the bass up at 9, the mid all the way down to 1, the treble is at 6 and the ISF is at 3. We've also got an analog delay on a short slap back just to thicken that guitar sound up and also there's a whole reverb here to create a nice big space around those guitar riffs. Because this tone is based off the Black Album tone it's great for that early 90s super heavy super saturated Metallica tone. <laughs> There you go guys, there are four Metallica style tones using the Silverline Deluxe. Like I said at the start of the video, the patches for these are linked in the description below, but they're also available on the Blackstar Insider website. So please go download those, put them into your own Silverline, and let us know down below in the comments what you think of those tones. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, please let us know what you did think of those tones, if you've enjoyed them, and if you've started using them to play along with Metallica tracks yourself. We'd love to hear about it. And if there are any other artists you'd like us to talk about the tones of, throw the names in the comments below and we will take a look at that for you as well. Don't forget to go check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please head over to mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all waiting to help you guys unlock your full potential. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.